Hi everyone, in this video we'll talk about the glucose reabsorption in the proximal tubule. Almost all filtered glucose is reabsorbed in the proximal tubule of the nephron in a healthy individual. So glucose reabsorption in the proximal tubule occurs by active reabsorption and the transport mechanism is called as secondary active transport. Now the driving force for the secondary active transport mechanism is the sodium potassium ATPS pump which is present on the vasolateral membrane. This pump extrudes sodium into the interstitium and leads to a low intracellular sodium concentration and creates a gradient between the tubular lumen and intracellularly for sodium. Now the carrier protein which is present on the epical membrane which transports uh, glucose into the cell along with sodium is called as the sodium dependent glucose transporter and uh, it transports glucose into the cell against the concentration gradient and sodium moves along the concentration gradient. Two transporters are identified in the nephron SGLT2 and SGLT1. Now once glucose has entered the cell it, it uh, exits the cell uh, by facilitated diffusion passively along the gradient. That is, it moves from high concentration to low concentration into the interstitium. And the transporter involved is GLUT or glucose transporter, which is present on the vasolateral membrane. Two types of uh, GLUT have, have been identified in the proximal tubule, GLUT2 and GLUT1. So they are present on the vasolateral membrane. From the uh, interstitial fluid, glucose enters the blood or the peritubular capillary. Um, and uh, this, uh, in this moment of glucose does not require any transporters. It moves by bulk flow. So remember for glucose uh, reabsorption, secondary active transport mechanism is involved at the luminal membrane and facilitated diffusion is at the vasolateral membrane and passive uptake by bulk flow occurs at the peritubular capillaries. Thank you for watching. Uh, please watch my other videos on um, filtration, reabsorption and excretion rates of glucose and also on uh, glycosuria. I'll uh, drop the link uh, in the description box below and also on the top of the video for you to watch. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Simple Concepts in Medical Physiology, for more videos.